We're not throwing in the towel. If x, y, and k are positive numbers such that blah, 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 blah is equal to k, and if x is less than y, which of the following could be the value of k? Well, if we know y is greater than x, what we can do is we can solve this equation for y, and then we can end up using the fact that if all of these numbers are positive, then when we get something that's in the form of y is equal to some number times x, then we know that that number is going to have to be greater than 1. Okay, so first let's try to solve it for y though. Just to get rid of the fraction though, we can multiply everything here by x plus y. And we get some cancellations and we get 10x plus 20y is equal to k times x plus y. But since we're trying to solve it for y, we're going to want to distribute that k in there so that way we can eventually combine the ky and the 20y. In fact, if you subtract 20y from both sides and also kx from both sides, then the kx's will cancel, the 20y's will cancel. You'll just be left with k minus 20y's, or you could think about I'm just factoring out a y. And on the other side, you're left with 10 minus kx's, or again, you could say you're factoring out an x. Then you can divide both sides by k minus 20, and you end up getting this answer right here. y is equal to 10 minus k over k minus 20 times x. Now that we have that, we can use the fact that that number that I underlined in purple has to be greater than 1 if we want y to be greater than x because you need to multiply something like 3 times something like 1.2 or any number bigger than 1 if you want to make it bigger. In fact, what does this give me? 3.6? So it makes it bigger than 3. So we have to figure out what value of k will make that happen. Well, your temptation here is to multiply both sides by k minus 20. And that's the right thing to do. It's just we don't know if k minus 20 is positive or negative. So we don't know whether or not we got to swap the sign. Well, if k minus 20 is positive, that's actually the same thing as saying it's greater than 0. And in fact, that would mean k would be greater than 20. You can add 20 to both sides and realize that k would have to be something like 21 or 22, right, or anything bigger than that. And if it was 21, then you have 21 minus 20, which is 1, a positive number, right? So, in fact, it's going to be negative when k is less than 20. Well, if it was greater than 20, well, that means k minus 20 would be positive. And if we multiply both sides by k minus 20, then what happens is we don't have to swap the sign at all. We just continue solving, and when you solve, you eventually get k has to be less than 15. Now, if you do it on the one where it's less than 0, you have to make sure that you take this sign and you have to swap it. So you got to make sure that you turn it into a less than. So when you go through that, well, you get k is greater than 15. But hold on here. On the left side, we got k is greater than 20, and it's less than 15. What number is that? It's a contradiction. So that's out of the picture. So it must be this other case where k has to be less than 20. And we also found out that k is greater than 15. So we know it's a number greater than 15 and less than 20, which means that the answer is 18.